can this video hit 50 million likes? Now, I'm only kidding, guys. Welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. And today, guys, don't ask what that intro was, but today, guys, we're going to be looking at a Mega Ampros deck. So, through my little Mega Week thing, I asked you guys, yo, request a deck for me to do on Friday. Now, I went with Alakazam Decidueye because I thought that that deck would have been a little more interesting to try out. But I also got a request for a Mega Ampharos deck. And I actually felt like this actually might not be a bad idea. So, Mega Ampharos, it's it's an interesting card to say the least, right? Okay, 220 HP, pretty decent for a Mega. It's a Lightning type, so it's got okay typing. Obviously, when you play against Passimian or Zygarde, it gets smoked. But, you know, the typing is good. But it's the attack exact exavolt, not exactable. I thought I said exactable, but nope. It says exavolt. So exavolt does 120 for four energy. So yeah, four for 120. But it actually has a pretty strong side effect. You can do 50 more damage and leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. But you got to do 30 damage to Mega Ampharos. Now this is a good attack for like two reasons. One, you're doing 170, so you can. Not only just one shot something, but leave them paralyzed so they can't attack you. But also, you do 30 to yourself. But that's not really a big deal when you have cards like Rough Seas, which basically heals your Lightning Pokemon by 30 damage. So look at that! You're basically doing 170 damage and paralysis with not really many side effects when you have Rough Seas going. So it's a pretty fun little combo. Now, the problem with Megamphros, you need 4 energy. How are you going to do that quick enough? You know, the format's so quick, how the heck do you power this thing up? Well, you got Electrode. Electrode is a pretty strong card. It's got the ability Buzzack Thunder, where you knock it out, but then you attach it to one of your Lightning Pokemon. That's a special energy card, which means you can get, you know, gets discarded with Enhanced Hammer, which can be a problem, but this actually provides two Lightning Energy while it is attached to a Pokemon. This is amazing because... Well, Electrode would count for the two light energies you have in your Ampharos, and then you can put a DCE on your Ampharos, and then you have Axavolt, Exavolt, all powered up, and it's that quick. You can do this by, like, turn two if you get the right setup. It's a pretty good combo, if I do say so myself. Electrode, it's always a good card. It's seen play with Raikou. I mean, not really seen much play anymore for some reason. I'm kind of surprised Raikou Electrode's kind of dropped out in popularity. But hey, it is what it is. We're going to be using my boy Electrode with the Raikou and the Ampharos. We even have a Jolteon, I guess, you know, go over our two attackers, you know, Raikou. It's a good non ex attacker to have. Sometimes you just want to use Thunder Lance over, Shiny, or over Ampharos. Shiny Body is also a good ability to have. Um, and also, we do run one Jolteon. This is a crucial card in the deck for Flash Ray. Decks that don't play Pokemon Ranger and have no way around Jolteon get screwed over big time. So we are going to be running one Jolteon in the deck along with one Raikou. Just two nice backup attackers to have when you don't use Ampharos. Ampharos is a good attacker for, you know, obviously the paralysis and stuff. But sometimes you just want to use Jolteon to slow your opponent down. Or you just want to use Raikou to kind of deal with stuff like maybe Regice and whatnot. So we are going to be running one Raikou and one Jolteon in the deck. Then we got the 3-3 Electrode. We do run one Hoopa. Since Hoopa, you want to be able to get multiple Ampharos going in one turn, so it's a very important card. And we got the two Shaman for your draw support. Also, pretty standard stuff, you know what I mean? So those are all our Pokemon. And, uh, I mean, we can look at normal Ampharos quickly, I guess, too. I mean, it's nothing too special. Nothing right home about one Lightning. Look at the top of cards. Put as many Lightning. I mean, if you get lucky, I guess. But we only play four Lightnings in the deck, so you're not going to get lucky. Sparkling Tail also isn't really that good. You don't even hit for weakness, so... It's like pretty useless, so it's not that good of a card, but Mega Ampharos can put in work, so there you go. And uh, we look at our items, so we actually do run one Enhanced Hammer, and I'm going with this mainly for stuff like if when you knock something out with Ampharos, right, they bring something up, they hit your Ampharos. Well, you can Enhanced Hammer that Pokemon and kind of slow them down a little bit so they can't do as much damage to Ampharos, and then you just paralyze them, right? So you're in, say you're in this situation. Your opponent's active Pokemon is about to get knocked out by Ampharos, then your opponent has an Evil Tall on the bench with a Dark and a DCE on it, ready to smack your Ampharos for a ton of damage and screw you over. Well, you can enhance hammer that DCE off, make them do less damage, and also, you know, maybe they can't attack you. It keeps your Ampharos alive, you never know, you might get lucky with the enhanced hammer hits, so we are playing one of those. One escape rope, um, it's weird, I know we have escape rope in a deck like this, you know, so why would you ever want to escape rope when you ex when you exavolt them? But, we're gonna use this for stuff like Tauros and stuff like that, when we don't get Mega Ampharos going. 
2 level ball it's very good since uh, electrode only has 80 hp so we can be searched with level ball and then we also use level ball to get voltorbs out it's just so that we get like turn two you know voltorbs and electrodes a lot easier one mega turbo you just i threw this in we only have four lightnings right so if we ever play against a deck that plays heavy hammers we need mega turbo to kind of help us a little bit so I just threw one of those. I do play one special charge. DCE plays a pig, a, a pig, a big role in this deck, right? You need DC for Jolteon, Ampharos, and you know you can even use it with Raikou if you wanted to. So I'm gonna play a special charge just in case we need to use our DCEs more. Um, one switch for switching. You just I like having switch, right? It's always a nice card to have. Three mail. I want to play four. I can't really find anything to take out. Maybe like escape rope or something. I don't know. I mean, you could take out the escape rope. You may not even need it. Because obviously you don't want to escape rope when you when you use Exavolt, but we're gonna be running three males because we need them for Emperor Spirit Link. Four Ultra Balls, you know, for searching and whatnot, you know, getting your Pokemon going. Four Verse Seeker for our supporters. Three Rough Seas. I want to play four Rough Seas. I feel like four would be better because Rough Seas plays a huge role in healing your know, Ampharos off that 30 damage. But we're only playing three. I I don't know if we really need to play anymore. I mean, it's only 30 damage. It's not even that much damage to begin. Like, if it was, say, like, 60 damage, it'd be like, okay, yeah, Rough Seas, we need four of these. But 30 damage, the Rough Seas is still nice to use, but it's, like, it's only 30, you know. It's, it's not really going to make your Ampharos have 200 damage on it. Like, you know. One Lysander, I don't really need to, you know, whatever they bring up gets paralyzed, so what's the point of running more than one Lysander? Three ends, your typical draw support. Same with your four Sycamores. This is just your standard draw support you see in any deck. We do play one Center Lady. This is just good to have when you use a couple Exvolts and you can't get Rough Seas going. You can Center Lady the damage off instead, so it's nice to have that. Plus, maybe you can heal 90 off Ampharos and be like, hey, look at that, full healed Ampharos. Boom, now you're paralyzed. Suck it. <laughs> Three Ampharos Spirit Links. Obviously, we need, we're going to need these Ampharos Spirit Links so that our Ampharos can evolve without having to turn any. One Float Stone, just so that we can give like a Hoopa or something for your tree cost or something you're stuck in the active. Four DCEs playing a big role for Exavolt and Buzzap Thunder to make you actually use Exavolt. And then, you know, DC can work with Flash Ray and even Thunderlands. And then we just play a total of four basic Lightning. Electrode's already in the deck. We don't really need any more than four Lightning, I don't think just no point when electrodes rocking you don't need too much light energy so this is the mega Ampharos deck here i have built for pc oh we're gonna go hop into some games for the deck can this mega Ampharos deck work or will it fail let's find out let's see if mega Ampharos's exavolt can put in the work that it needs to do so we're gonna go find a game or two with the deck see if we can get that turn two electrode and Ampharos combo going there we go, okay, uh, my computer is being really weird, it wasn't loading my game, it's being very slow, I don't know, I mean, I'm not the strongest laptop, you probably already could tell that, so that's probably a reason why, right, so, gotta watch out, so let's go Ampharos Electrode, let's go find some matches with the deck, can we have some fun with my boy, uh, maybe we can wreck some Pokies, now, some of your worst matchups are probably gonna be stuff like Solgaleo, where it has Ultra Road, maybe decks that play Heavy Switching, it's... It's not that bad though, right? So it looks like we're playing against Mega Gardevoir with Giratina. This matchup I'm fine with, as long as we can get the Paralysis going. Plus one thing with Mega Gardevoir, they don't really tend to play many switching cards, because they already have the Fairy Garden, right? So it's like, what's the point? And we lose the coin for the Totodial. You suck. You, you, every time I try to use you, every time I try to use you, Totodial, you, you just screw me over, and you never work for me. It's just, it's just love-hate relationship with me and Totodial. Alright, so... Uh, I was hoping my opponent would make me go first, but we'll see. We'll see. So we got the double Ampharo start. Our hand isn't the greatest. I don't really want to waste a rough seas right now. Uh, we need... Okay, this hand is, I guess, okay. I mean, we can level ball, grab a Voltorb. All is good. My opponent says a shock face. So it seems that they're shocked. And oh, they're spamming the shock face. They're spamming... Okay, they are really shocked. I, they are really shocked. They ain't, they're shocked so that they're spamming nine shock faced. Okay. How many shock faces do spam? <laughs> spam five. Jeez, this guy's five times the shock. He actually has to waste a Gardevoir Spear Link on a Shaman, which is fine as long as he doesn't do Sky Return. That's, you know, good. So we see an Ultra Ball getting rid of a Fairy and a Mega Guardi. Seems good. Uh, grabbing Hoopa. So at least the good thing, he got rid of some energy and he got rid of. He's used a Spear Link. He got rid of a Gardevoir. You know, it's looking okay. Um, I'm hoping. I mean, I don't want to get in, but at the same time, like. If Shaman screws me over, I might not have much to work with. So, he does play Giratina, which is a little bit bothersome. We 
we don't really have a way around Giratina, so we are going to rely on Lysander in this matchup a lot. Um, prevent all effects. Yeah, so we can't even damage it with the... Can't even paralyze it. It's just... But hey, you know what? Let's play it down Shamans. We can knock him out in one hit with Jolteon. We can still use Raikou also, so... It's not the end of the world that he has Giratina in play. We don't have Hex Maniac, which you might want to run one in the deck, just so you have a way to deal with the Giratina matchup, I think. It wouldn't be too bad. My opponent, he's got a lot of energy on the Gardevoir already, but uh, what are we going to top deck? Alright, I will take that, so... I don't really see him attacking with Gargi anytime soon, so I might as well just do that route. Let's level ball, grab ourselves a Voltorb, let's see what's in the deck. Alright, so one Amphros is prized, one... I oh, know one Mega Amphros is prized. Uh, Jolteon's in the deck, Raikou is in the deck, so all of our Voltorbs and stuff are in the deck. Let's see. Alright, it looks like we have a few energy prized, two DCEs prized, which might come back to haunt me later if Chaos Wheel hits the board. We're gonna have to play this Rough Seas. Like, I need to draw more cards with Shaman here. I can't afford to just draw three cards. Like, you gotta go, we gotta dig deep. Gotta dig deep. Okay. Okay, if we can find a DCE, we can attack him next turn. No, just another Spirit Link. Like, we can't use Thunder Rod when we only have two Lightnings in the deck. So, we do have an Enhanced Hammer in our hand, so... I mean, we can hammer off that, you know, a Double Dragon he might play. I think, I, yeah, you just afford to put that on. I really wanted to play a Supporter this turn. Would've been nice, but, uh, we couldn't. It looks like my game is being... Okay, there we go. I was like, oh god, don't please don't disconnect me, man. I, I can't afford to be disconnected. I can't afford to be disconnected. So... I mean, my opponent's still got a Shaman stuck in the active, which is good. We know, I know they have a Fairy Garden in their hand, so they're gonna get rid of their Rough Seas, which kind of a waste of a Rough Seas, but, I mean, we had to play it so that we could draw the extra cards with Shaman, it's just that important. So, maybe my opponent is going to be nice and he'll end me, we can get an entirely new hand, and maybe with that new hand we can actually, you know, do some things. And, uh, I mean, if we can top deck a DCE, we can attack with Ampharos, but... If not, I mean, even then, like, he just brings up Giratina, we don't have a way around it, so it's like, what do we do? But my opponent is not really playing anything, so I'm, I have a feeling they're not even playing, which... Okay, never mind. I guess they're just taking a while, never mind. Alright, so just a Mega Evolution, alright. Ooh, -hoo. we can take a knockout here. Which, I, I, I mean, it's not the end of the world, we have the Double Dry, we have the Enhanced Hammer in our hand. I don't really want to give my opponent a prize, though. They didn't do anything last turn, so... But, you know, whatever. Whatever, we just... I guess we'll take the knockout. We could have knocked him out with Thunder Rod. Actually, no, wait, that's right. Can't use Thunder Rod, because Shaman ain't weak to light. Or, Thunder Rod doesn't apply weakness to lightning. But, we can buzz up Thunder. My opponent will get a free prize. Let's hope that prize is pretty something that he does not need. Like, I don't know, something he doesn't need. And, uh, we'll just exivolt him. Don't even need to do the extra damage. I mean, we could have, but we know he has a fairy guard in his hand, so might as well just exavolt him for the 240 knockout and uh, just take the prize. We could have done the extra damage just for the funds of it, but can we find a supporter? A Lysander would be great. <sighs> no. Nothing. We just find DCE and more Versus Seekers, which I don't even want to draw into because if I have to do Sycamore at one point, I don't want to lose these VS Seekers when we need them to get around this Giratina. So, not the best. Uh, one thing Ampharos kind of stinks is it has a 3 retreat cost, which is kind of why I like having the extra switching cards in the deck, like Escape Rope, because his retreat is pretty big. He does bring out the Xerneas, so, though, which is kind of interesting. I wouldn't expect him to bring out Giratina. That's what I would have done, maybe Giratina and just set up energy. But he's Geomancing, so he's dead drawing, but we're dead drawing too. If we can find a Lysander, we can bring out that Mega Guardian on the bench and just paralyze it, which I really want to do. Alright, Mail. Kim is coming clutch. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to Ultra Ball. We're gonna have to do Ultra Ball. We're gonna have to go for it, boy. So we can DCE you. We'll, I mean, we'll get rid of these two. I want to keep the Enhanced Hammer for the Giratina. So yeah, we're gonna have to do this. Yeah, I guess we'll grab Hoopa. It doesn't kill us. It's a better option, you know, if we grab Shaman. You know. Hoopa at least lets us get more cards of our deck so that we don't try into them. So let's grab Shay. Grab an, eh, let's actually grab Jolteon and Ampharos. Let's see what. Okay, Lysander is in the deck. How many trainers males? One left. Okay. I'm feeling okay about drawing them. Hopefully. Hopefully. You know? So, we'll drop Jolteon. 
So let's yeah, let's just hope we get Lysander here. I mean, we can still knock out the Xerneas, but I mean that thing looks scary. I really need to find my Lysander. Maybe two Lysander isn't bad after all. Maybe it's not too bad. Okay, we don't even get a supporter, man. Man, really? <laughs> oh, now that is what I'm talking about. Look at that. <laughs> it's like we didn't even get a supporter, but we fridge yeah, boys. We got the Lysander. So let's go. We'll hit him 170, boom, and then we also paralyze him. And uh, we're gonna take damage, but you know, even if he bumps this rough seas, we have one in our hand, so it's all good. Um, but if he has a switching card, I guess that's bad. But as long as he doesn't attack me here, we're fine, because then we can, we can, you know, just be a secret Lysander back out. But no, my opponent conceives the game. He can't deal with the paralysis lock, and he probably, you know, we could have knocked that out, and then we had the Lysander in our hand to knock out like the Shaman or Hoopa to get around the Giratina, so it wasn't even a big threat. That game went fine. I think that game went pretty fine. Um, I need to get those 600 coins. I want to get the 500 moon back, so I don't think I have enough time. Though. So we got a friend request. Magic. Oh, it's that guy. I don't know how to accept that. I don't know how full my friends list is. Um, I don't know how full it is. It's just gonna let me accept. Okay, it's not. I, it's, I don't know if it's my game being slow or it's genuinely like whatever. I'll have to sort that out later. I might have a full friends list, and maybe that's why I can't add him. I guess that's why. I mean, I got a lot of people add me all the time, so I gotta. I'm probably gonna end up deleting a bunch of people that I don't see online anymore. I guess. I mean. There are a few people that I don't really talk to on this game anyways anymore, and like people that I don't even see online, so. There's a few people I guess I can unfriend and make room, gotta clean up the friends list. You can only have so many friends on PDCGO, people, you can only have so many friends, but we'll find another match, see if we can get this Ampharos rolling again, but we just gotta wait and see. Gonna take a little while to find a game, I don't know if it's because no one's playing standard, but the thing with this deck, right, is you wanna get a turn to Exavolt, like that, it's OP. So, okay, I uh, dragon. I want to say it's some kind of decidui deck, but I don't think it is. So let's go with the coin flip. Totodile. Okay, Totodile actually worked for us. Like, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Ah, uh, okay, here we go. But I don't know what my opponent's playing. Then that's the thing. I don't know what he's playing. And we start with Shaman, and we get a useless hand. Where are my ends? And where are my Ultra Balls? And where are my sycamores, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. Pardon me. Okay, it is a Decidueye deck. Alright, let's go with the Trainer's Man. Uh, we're gonna go in. We're gonna go Sika. Yeah, we're gonna go Sika. We're gonna lose a DCE, but it's fine. We got three left. Plus, we do play Special Charge, so it's all good. We can probably still get it back. Uh, okay, we... What the heck is this? This hand sucks. Okay, uh, we'll get rid of Via Seeker and Sika. Hmm, I don't know what kind of deck my opponent's playing though. We don't have any access to Voltorb either, which kind of sucks. You know, we had some Voltorbs on the We need to get some Voltorbs going. So we have the Voltorbs in play. We can buzz up Thunder. Shaman, uh, but he actually concedes the game. I guess the the, the Amphro scared him off. Okay, what kind of a deck was this? Oh, Decidueye Latios. Uh, okay, I thought it was like Decidueye, Tauros, Giratina, something crazy like that. But uh, my opponent was like chilling, playing some kind of Donk deck, Cool Beans. But you know what? It ain't Cool Beans when we win the game. You probably can see because he realized that we're going to be able to get rid of the Shaman. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, here we go. We're going to go find some more games with our Amphi deck. See if we can get that crazy Exavolt play. And uh, we'll just... Find it out. Let's find out. If we can find a game, I don't know. Maybe maybe people aren't playing this game. I mean, it's a Wednesday. It's a spring break. I don't know. All right, here we go. We got into a game, and let's see what are we gonna be playing against here. Ooh, this might be Sogaleo, which is a little tricky. He plays fighting though, which means he can go through Ampharos, hitting it for weakness, which is never good. But, I mean, if we can get the exact goal going, it's all good. So, let's tails the coin flip. I'm feeling this Totodile. Thank you, Totodile. This is my man sometimes. My man. So, there you go. So, let's see what our hand is going to look like here. Hmm. Okay, I mean, it's not the worst. Could have been worse, right? Could have been a lot worse. The best thing that can happen is, like, an Ultra Ball or a Level Ball top deck. 
We can Ultra Ball, we can get another Ampharos in play, and then we can get the other Spearlink on it, not have to waste a Spearlink, which could come to bite us in the butt. Depends on what we're playing against, though. Oh, he's playing Lucario. Okay. I don't really think it's too bad. I mean, okay, he's probably got a known in his decks. Stuff like that. The only thing that could bite us is Captivating Pokepuff. Right? Alright, so can the Spearlink please go on the Ampharos? Alright. Okay, game, why are you doing this? Why is my internet doing this to me today, man? What, like, I'm looking at my internet right now. I'm not even dropping any bars. <gasps> okay, can you play the Spirit Link, dude? Come on. Alright, are, are you gonna play it, man? Come on, game. I'm, the clock is ticking, even though I don't have a watch on. Alright, there we go. It took me, like, five years. Uh, I guess we'll attach... Man, I could have discarded that. Whatever. It is what it is. We'll... Yeah, who gives it? Who gives it? Whatever. Ooh, okay, this hand is actually pretty good. So let's go level ball. See, we didn't get a DC. So it's like, you know, we can attach lightning next to it. We get level ball for the Boltorb. We get Hoopa. Which actually, I don't really want to do. I don't want to get another Ampharos down, but I don't want to drop Hoopa at the same time. Hmm. I think I'm going to pass. Like, next turn, we can try and get a Buzzap Thunder going. And uh, try and get an Exavolt. We can even Sparkling Tail and knock him out. Like, it's a stage 1 deck. It's not a big deal. And uh, he grabs an Eevee. So he plays Evolutions, but that doesn't matter because none of the Evolutions really hit my Ampharos for weakness. So that's a good thing. But hey, you know what? You want to make more bench Pokemon? Go ahead. So we see a Metal on the active. Okay. We can still probably knock it out. And an N. I mean, that hand was pretty awesome. But uh, you know what? If it gives us an even better hand, I ain't complaining. Let's see. What are we going to get? Does he run Captain Mini Pokemon 2 is the question. Alright. We don't get the Ampharos. We can still knock him out though, so it's not like the end of the world. He does do 20, we are weak to fighting, and we got a Jolteon. It's not really that good in this matchup. He's playing Evolution, so it's like, who cares? So, let's go with the N here. Um, I should have buzzed up Thunder first. My bad. Alright, we do get the Ampharos. Nice. My boy. Coming in thick. So, we can Mega Evolve. We don't even have any Pokemon in our hand. And, uh, you know what? We can just buzz up Thunder. We already got two lightnings on it, so it's not like an enhanced hammer would kill us. I should have buzzed that thunder before I did the end, end him to five. A bit of a misplay on my end, but uh, it is what it is. Who cares? I'm just going to Ultra Ball away Float and the lightning energy and just grab a... I'm just going to grab another Ampharos, I guess. Grab Raikou. Oh, no, Raikou ain't in the deck. There you go. Yeah, I think it's fine. We can just grab another Ampharos. Why not? Ampharos, get another one down just so that we have another attacker. We'll train his mail, see if we can find like an Ampharos Spearling level ball. I mean, no way he's gonna get Lucario going. Might as well grab another Voltorb. And then we can get more Buzzap Thunders going. For now, anyways. So, we might as well play another Voltorb down. And, uh, let's go Exavolt. And we don't even need to do the extra damage, because we're already killing him for 120. And, boom, there you go. So, if my opponent can't find another Pokemon, we can win the game next turn. Enhanced Hammer. I doubt he plays Special Energy, unless he plays Shield Energy or something for Lucario. So there you go. I'm gonna have to try and limit my bench space. Depends if he plays Captain Main Pokepuff or not. Captain Main Pokepuff easily could be a huge factor in this because it could force me to have to play down Shamans and then he could knock me out with Standalone. But if he doesn't, we're good. So I'm gonna try and Ultra Ball away like Shamans and stuff that I don't want to have in my hand. As long as I can limit the amount of Pokemon that I have in play or just in my deck, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine with two Ampharos. I think we'll be good with two Mega Ampharos. But if he puts the Lucky Helmet on, he's gonna- Oh, he Lysander's me. I mean, we can still retreat if we get the, uh, if we get the, uh, thing, my dude. If we can get the Voltorb, or a DCE, or a Switch, or an Escape Rope, we can get out of this. Can we get this for the win? Let's see. Top Deck Gods, Rough Seas. Okay, nice. We can Rough Seas heal, but he did put a DCE on, which is kind of weird, so I guess we can use our Enhanced Hammer. We can end him to five. Can we retreat our Ampharos? We can. We do win the game, folks. We got that win in the bag. In the bag. So let's go... Drop down the electrode, and we can buzz up thunder, blow my boy up, boom, like my mixtape drop in. Would have been nice to knock him out with Sparkling Tail, but we didn't get a DCE. But you know what? We knock out this poor little Eevee, and uh, that's all she wrote, folks. That is all she wrote. Exavolt, we're gonna overkill this because I can. And uh, I mean, that was a pretty quick game. It wasn't really much of a game, anyways. But we could, we showed off how quick you can get the Ampharos going, as long as you don't get that slow start. Hey, there's my boy Raikou. He came a little late, but uh, there he is. So, there you go. Quick win. And uh, let's. Okay, I want to see what he was playing. Hmm. He had Espeon. See, that's why I like having switches for middle. 
That's why I like having Switch for Espeon. Um, hmm. Lunology X. Okay, I, uh, uh, I, I don't know what the heck that was. <laughs> Lunala. Interesting. I mean, the, the Espeon, Lucario, it's not the most craziest idea. It's both stage ones, but Lunala? Like, what is the Lunala doing in the deck? That is crazy, but whatever. It was a quick win. We got that Ampharos. My boy Ampharos with the beautiful long hair just swept him. And there you go. So, uh, playing against a dragon deck. He probably plays, well, from the Latios deck box. He might be playing like Latios, but he does, I don't think it's going to be Dark Eye Dragon. It could be. It could be Dark Eye Dragon. Hmm, let's see. Alright, let's flip the coin. Totodile. <laughs> I knew that was going to be heads. I should have went with Tails. That was my bad. My opponent has a heart, though. Hit him with a hello. If it lets me. Alright, we start with Shaman. A bit of a bummer. We have the floats on our hand. It's all good, though. I, Shaman, you can kind of take the brunt of the attack while we build up our stuff. So it's all good in the hood. We'll see what kind of deck this is, though. Might be Dark Eye Dragons, but it might not be. Hmm. Shaman? Uh, that doesn't really tell me anything. Oh, no. It could be Garbodor. Uh, Garbodor. That's fun. He blocks our Electrode, and you might play Hammers, which is also really fun. So there's a Trainer's Mail. For a Magma Secret Base. Okay, so... Huh. Okay, now I don't know, because it's obvious, it's not Gyarados, that's for sure. Gyarados doesn't play Dragon-types. Hmm. So he drops a Hex Maniac and a Pokemon Ranger. Which, wait, Pokemon Ranger gets you out of... Oh, yeah, po he could use Pokemon Ranger to get out of Exavolt. He has a Latios. Oh, okay, so I guess this is a Mega Latios deck. We'll see if he plays Giratina or not. I mean, Giratina and Salamence could be stuff he plays, which could be pretty bad for us. So we gotta watch out for that. There's a Sika. He's gonna get rid of... Ooh, he does get rid of a Special Charge, which is nice. Um, if my last Shaman... My other last... My other Shaman's prize is gonna suck. So we see a Switch and a Latios. He's not gonna be able to knock me out unless he pulls off some crazy Decidueye play. But no, just a fast raid for 40. All right. Okay, another Ultra Ball. Not really what I was looking for. So we're gonna have the Ultra Ball away. Lightning and an Ultra Ball. And let's grab Hoopa. Alright, he's in the deck. We're gonna have to take some damage, but we got Rough Sea, so we can heal off our Ampharos when we do actually end up playing them down. We can basically play every card from our hand down, too, which is pretty good. So I'm liking this a lot. So we can grab two Amphis and a Shebe. And let's see. Um, here we go. So grab the two Ampharos. We'll plop those two bad boys down. Alright, you gonna let me do it? Alright, thank you. I don't know what the heck's going on on my internet today. It's been really slow all day. It's really annoying. I had to literally, like, stand next to my router just to, like, upload a video. So, put the float on. We'll trainer's mail. Maybe we can get, like, another Ampharos Spear, like a Rough Seas. Sick. Uh, I'll take that. We're not gonna draw six, but it's like, hey, you know what? If the Shaman screws this over, we at least have a support over the turn. So, it's all good. So, yeah. Here we go. So, let's see. Is Shaman gonna bless us? I don't really know what I'm looking for. Salamence would be pretty scary right now. I'm not gonna lie, Salamence would be very scary because we have five Pokemon to play. Alright, what do we get? Nothing. Lovely. It's gonna sicka. We gotta lose my boy Megan Ampharos. We still got a few left. It's not the end of the world. Alright, what do we find? Oh, no Electrode. Hmm, we could still pull off that Mega Turbo play though because we'd have a Lightning in the discard. <sighs> okay, should I play the Jolteon now? We're not powering up next, so it doesn't really matter. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have it on the bench and take damage, I guess. Can he knock out Shaman? Fighting Fury Bell? Nah. He could, no. Kyuki. Kyuki and a Fighting Fury Bell could knock me out, but I doubt he'll hit that, so we'll be fine. We, unfortunately, guys, did not get any Vault Orb, so we aren't able to pull off the Buzz App Thunder, which kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is. You know, just kind of ripping the board, ripping the chat. And, oh. Okay, my game is still... What the heck is going on my internet today, man? Honestly. So there's a Nest Ball. You might even grab Yotina here. This is where Jolteon comes in handy, folks. He's probably going to grab another... No, Hydreigon. Alright, so... Hydreigon... Doesn't really affect us. It can go through Jolteon, but... Uh, it doesn't really matter because... Mena... Oh, he actually... No, he had the Kyuki in his hand? Dude, I was like... I was like, alright, you know what? We'll make it so he has to get a Kyuki and a Fighting Fury Bolt. If he has all that in his hand, I'm going to cry. Nope. Okay, just a fast raid. Alright, what do we top deck? Okay, another Ampharos. We can Mega Evolve. We can drop down Jolteon. We can Lightning Energy that. I mean, he did Kyuki. Like, I don't really see any harm in ending him. So, we'll hit him with an end. 
don't really want to lose more Ampharos and more Electrode, so we'll end him. Can't really get the Electrode in play anymore, so we're gonna have to rely, maybe if we get Mega Turbo off of this. Nope, of course not. So I guess we'll just... We do have Center Lady, which I do want to keep around, so... Hmm, how many Ampharos do we discard? I only have two left, but I'm fine with using Jolteon or Raikou as like our backup attacker, so I think we can afford to get rid of the thing. And I uh, might as well just get a second Mega Ampharos to play. And, uh, I mean, I also kind of want to try and, uh, I also try, uh, oh my god, I can't talk today. I also, man, I also try and want to get a Voltorb on our bench, so that we can build up the other Ampharos with Buzz App Thunder. Depends if my opponent plays Enhanced Hammers or not, if he does, that could be devastating. So, there's a Nest Ball. See, does he play Giratina or not? Nah, okay, he would have grabbed Giratina by now, so it looks like he does not play it. And he gets a belt on. We are going to get knocked out here, which I didn't think of. <laughs> I should have retreated Jolteon, whatever. We're going to end him. We can end him to four, it's all good. Uh, but if we miss that lightning energy, that won't be all good. We still have two left. And the Mega Turbo, so we got three chances to hit a lightning energy here. But he actually doesn't end first, which I'm fine with. That gives me two supporters. If we can get a supporter off this, I do want to end him to four, though. Kind of slow him down a little bit, so let's see. Uh, don't, oh, we don't even hit the lightning, man. Hmm. Double Dragon, two. So it's going to be a Light Pulse. There's a Trainer's Mail. Hmm. Be a seeker. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's probably not gonna want to end himself. If Mail can hit, man, that'd be great. We're gonna have the Sycamore here, man. I think that's our best play. Let's just do Sycamore, so I'm fine with that, folks. So he's gonna keep belting his stuff up, but I mean, Lagio's only doing 60. If we have rough seas, it's not gonna matter, guys. There's Ultra Ball. He's probably gonna grab another Shaman. Gets rid of Magma Secret Base. That's pretty good. That makes it so we don't have to lose any more, uh, I need more rough seas, which is all good. So she is gonna drop down my boy Shay. He's gonna, I don't really. What is he digging for though? I, like even in and enhanced cameras, us we still can hit the Mega Turbo. So I don't know what he's really digging for, Shaman. But no, we just see a light pulse. Gonna knock out my Shaman. All right, it's all down to this. I'd be nice to have Mega Turbo, so we don't have to lose two DCEs. Hmm. Okay, there's the rough seas. So now we can heal off all of our Pokemon, and plus he just lost a Mango Secret Base. So let's go Trainer's Mail. Will we get that? Hmm, we do get an end. Do I want to end him though? Like if I don't hit this, I like I really want to get this. Um, yeah, well I'm gonna go for the end. I'm gonna go for Sika. I have Special Charge in the deck for a reason, guys. So I can afford to get rid of Special Charge. I don't want to grab any more Shamans because I don't want him to Lysander them. How many life centers has this guy played? He hasn't played one yet, so. Hmm. Maybe that's what he was digging for last turn. He's like, I want to have a life center, not get your shaman next turn. Okay, Ultra Ball. What are you playing, dude? What is with my internet today, man? Honestly. Like, oh my god, this disconnects me. Alright, thank you. Stop being so slow, you stupid internet. Jeez. Alright, we'll grab a Voltorb here. Okay, do we have a shaman, though? I don't think we do, yeah. We're out of Poke EXs, so we'll grab Voltorb just so we can try and get an Electrode into play. That'd be coolio. It's just, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's go the Sycamore. Can we find the energy to attack? We do. Okay, good. We even get the special charge. We got Enhanced Hammer too for next turn, which could be pretty good. Okay, come on, shuffle them back. Alright, we can get back two DC. <sighs> we do this. We'll play the Level Ball now. I kind of want to burn it. We don't have any supporters for next turn, so that might increase the chance to get one. So. Hand ain't too bad right now either. We still have an option to type with Ampharos, so we can exact a Volt. We're not knocking him out because he does have the Fighting Fury belt on, but he is paralyzed. Oh no, Light Pulse! That's right, he has Light Pulse. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Ugh, Light Pulse saved his butt. Light Pulse saved his butt. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, whatever. We still knock out Shaman try and win the game that way. We still use Jolteon too. I don't know if Light Pulse goes to Rune Flash or not, but we'll see. Oh, Lysander. He's gonna knock out my Shaman, isn't he? I mean, if he does that, it's not the end of the world. Then he has to try and take out an Ampros, which could be tough. I'm fine with him knocking out Shaman, if I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. So, yeah, we can bring out the Ampros. We can even hand stammer that energy off, just be like, hey, you can slow you down. Ah, another DCE, man, dude, really game? Alright, we'll DCE the Jolteon, we'll rough seas, heal off the Ampharos, and let's just enhanced hammer that double dragon off so he can't light pulse me. 
I would like to end him here, so hopefully we can get an end off our prizes or something, or like a Via Seeger. So we can knock out the Latios, and he can't Light Pulse me, so we know he's going to get paralyzed. So what do we get off these? Escape Rope, any Sika. Boy, that ain't a Via Seeker or N. How many Ns have I played? I still have one left, so unless my other one's prize, I wasn't checking. So if we can top deck a Via Seeker or an N, that'd be good, because I do want to end him to two, because... Lysander could be the downfall of me. All he has to do is Lysander take two prizes. I'm not going to buzz up Thunder unless I really need to. So we're going to have to keep out on holding off on that. The good thing is he ain't knocking me out this turn. So there you go. Double Dragon. I brought up Enhanced Hammer. See, he would have been able to Light Pulse, but he can't now because we Enhanced Hammer at that. So that's why I got that Enhanced Hammer in the deck. That is why. See, slow the opponent down. Oh, he's going for Lysander too. We could Escape Roll before we bring something up. Luckily, it's not a Light Pulse, though, so I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it not being a Light Pulse. I really need to end him, though, because this could be our Doomsday, folks. It could be our Doomsday. I doubt he plays any... Sw no, he does play a Switch, but he already used it. I don't think he plays a Lumpia, either. So, only 50. Just put some range for a Light Pulse. There's a male. Can we hit an N off of this, folks? We do. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, come on, play the end, grab it, thank you. Come on, internet, stop doing this to me. I'm just gonna retreat. YOLO. Okay, come on, man, what is this? Oh my god. Dude, my internet today is just not having any of it. Like, yesterday it was all like, yeah, it was all nice, and now it's like, it takes five minutes to play a card, honestly. I need to talk to my internet provider. This is getting a little ridiculous, folks. It's getting a little ridiculous. Alright, let's go with the end. And, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be in a good spot. Okay, not really anything we need. Center Lady! Actually, yeah, we can Center Lady the Hoopa and heal it a little bit. That could be fine. Let's level ball, burn it, grab the Voltorb, thin up the deck a little bit. And, uh, I guess just Spirit Link get the Jolteon, because we can. Alright, and here we go. Let's go with the Exavolt, and we can paralyze my opponent. He only has two cards. Pray he doesn't have a Sycamore or a Seeker. And we are golden. He's paralyzed, so he's going to have to really hit like a switch or an escape rope or something. And I'm probably just going to center lady my Hoopa so that it doesn't get knocked out anytime soon. So we play special charge, but is that anything he needs? That's the question. Two double dragons. Okay. Good thing here also. If we take out his last Latios, all we have to do is knock out a Shaman to win the game. Because we can easily... We still have our Via Seekers. We still we know we have the last hand discard. Giovanni scheme. Okay. Not really a big deal, though. He still can't attack me, which is good. Um, worst case scenario, he bumps the rough seas, and then we can't heal the 30. Maybe that could hurt us, but I don't think it will. So he's gonna build up that Hydreigon, but Hydreigon only does 80. It won't even knock out Hoopa, even if we don't center lady, so it's all good. So yeah, looking thick, looking thick. Alright, so there you go. Alright, what do we top deck? Escape rope. We can win the game next turn. There you go. So here we go. Let's center lady the Hoopa, just to heal it. Rough Seas. I almost forgot to Rough Seas. That could have been funny. And let's take the Exavolt and Knockout on the Latios. And then we just play Escape Rope next turn and win the game. So there you go. Unless he ends me to two. Or he plays down another Pokemon that isn't Shaman. But even if he plays down like another Latios. Latios only has 170, so it's all good. Mega Turbo ain't too terrible, I guess. Rough Seas is good, too, in case he bumps it. So, Double Dragon on Hydreigon. And does he have the N or not? Because if not, we can win... Via Seeker, okay, what is he gonna grab? Lysander, alright, we win the game. He's gonna bring up, oh, he brings up Hoopa. 80, 88. Yeah, he can knock me out next turn, but we have the switching option, so well played to my opponent. Good game. It was a good game, but I forgot to there. See, Escape Rope can be good in these situations because you Escape Rope, force him bring out a Shaman or something, knock it out, boom, bing bada boom, all is well. So we win the game. It was a pretty close game. I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here, guys, too. You know, just chilling don't really need to uh you know i think we're good plus my internet's been slow and i don't know how long these games are going to take my internet wants to be this bad today so we'll take the win and uh, there you go it was a i mean it was a fairly close game he literally needed one attack to win the game but uh, it came down to the wire maybe it depends if he had license or not so can we get a ton of coins it's 25 all right not bad good game to my opponent and if you're watching this and hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed hit the like button don't forget to subscribe more video content help me on the road to 2k subs and uh i'm gonna stop buying sun and moon packs now from the shop i really do want to save up for
before the next set. Like, you see some of these scans this next set. Like, Secret Max Potion's coming back. Secret Rare, like, Tool Scrapper 2.0 with Stadium Discard, which is even better. And, like, Secret Rare Aqua Patch, Tapu Koku, Tapu Lele. It's just, that set just... Boom! Just... Ah, it's a really good set, so... I gotta save up for that, so I'm just gonna try and get as many coins as I can for that set. Unless, like, a bomb-ass... A bomb-ass bundle comes up. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like button. I already know I said in my outro. And I'll see you guys on another PCO video. Peace out.